I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you're new to this game, look for links below the video to a lesson playlist and a player reference with the scoring so you can follow along. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. East, or player one, will get 14 tiles. Players two, three, and four, south, west, and north, will get 13 each. Then we'll look at each hand and see where we can find score. When you play, whether you play with a group or whether you play online, there's usually a fawn minimum. For this game, we're gonna say three fawn is the minimum. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for east. Okay, for east, they have five cracks, four dots, three bams, and a couple of honors. I'm thinking half flush with cracks. They have no pairs. So no potential pungs right now. I think we should get rid of the suit they have the least of right here. Three fawn minimum. We're gonna need either a half flesh or all pung or maybe the seat wind or a dragon. So these right here, west and south, those are not gonna help because this is the east player. So we would need a pung of the east wind to get score. So I'm thinking a half flesh probably in cracks with the winds and dragons. So we'll start by discarding these. And incidentally, it's the east round. Let's see what we can do for player two, also known as south. They have a one flower. That's not gonna help with score but we will get a replacement from the back of the wall. They got a green dragon. So I'm thinking half flesh with bams. No pairs here. We do have a pair here. So that's a pretty strong start with bams. I would start by discarding this and see what happens. Let's see what we can do for West, player three. They have two flowers, a two and a three. So this three here, that's gonna bring them a fawn for score. They got a crack and a green dragon. These single honors are not gonna be helpful that way. We're gonna to need to pair up. I think I would probably start Let's just count the ones and nines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's not enough. There's a special hand called 13 Orphans. And a good guideline for that particular scoring element is to have 10 tiles. We only have seven. That's made up of ones and nines of each suit, one of each of the winds and dragons, and then any tile paired. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're three short for that to really be a strong potential. So I think I would probably start by discarding this eight and we'll just take it from there, just in case. Maybe the eight and then the four and the eight and hold cracks in these terminals. Terminals are ones and nines. So let's see what we can do for North. Wow, look at that. Pair, pair, pair. East, West, South. 
we have two cracks, two bams, two dots. Let's exchange this flower. This flower is not going to give them any score because it's a two, but we can get a replacement tile and it's a dot. So let's go for dots and honors. Discard these. So let's go ahead and start by discarding the two bam for player one. I'm going to use this to mark whose turn it is. So I discarded a two bam and it's this player's turn. Now this player has a two, three, four. If we were to claim that to make a chow with a, two, a three, four here, two, three, four, we would leave an isolated two. I think they're better off to draw. One crack, okay, that might help if we switch them to pungs, which is all three of a kind. So let's just hold that for a minute and discard the three dot. And nobody can take a three dot, so we'll draw two dot. We really want cracks. Now we have an equal number of dots and cracks. Let's discard the eight bam and draw four north. Seven dot. That might help with a pung. We have one, two, three, four pair. There are two BAMs out. Let's go ahead and discard the BAM. Get rid of the BAMs and draw down here. Oh, they got their own flower, a one flower. That's a fawn. We just need two more in here. Now they have a pair and a dot. They have an equal number of dots and cracks. Let's get rid of these BAMs. 4 bam. Now up here, we could do a 2, 3, 4, but that would mean we, we would need to commit to cr uh, bams. I don't know if I would want to do that because if we draw and get more pairs, especially with these dragons, we might have a potential for all pung. The other thing I was thinking is BAMs are going down. Maybe that would be a good suit to commit to. Let's go ahead and chow. Chow. We're going to commit to BAMs and go ahead and discard six crack. Let's draw for this player. Now if they're going to play cracks, they could technically take that. They have no, no other sets to commit to because these are isolated. I think they're better off to draw. We got a pair now with not a nine bam here. So let's, let's go ahead and discard the eight dot, eight dot. And then up here, let's make a decision here. So here we could potentially chow, but we do have pung potential. One, two, three, four. That all pung is a higher value than any chow hand that you play. So let's draw. Let's see if we can get them to all pung. Nine crack. Let's discard that. <clears throat> okay, down here. Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw. Seven bam. We'll discard that. And draw. This player can't take it. So here we go. Eight crack. Oh. Shoot, now they paired up. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, because they could have played all pung, but they committed with that chow seven crack. That probably was a mistake. Okay, let's draw. We'll make it work. Seven bam. They don't have any exposures yet. Let's see if we can keep the bams here and get rid of the four dot. Since there's a pair in there, maybe we can use it. So four dot was discarded. 
Nobody can take it. We're going to draw. One bam. Not helpful. Let's get rid of the five bam. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Two dot. That's a... Okay, keeper. We're in between dots and cracks. Let's discard the five bam. We can chow. Four, five, six. Now they have all isolated tiles here. Let's discard this eight crack. Eight crack, nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Three crack, we just keep going back and forth. Two dot, discard. You can move the game along by discarding your offsuit. So two dot was discarded, nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Six crack, that's not helpful. Let's discard the one bam. And now we can draw for player one. Four flower, that won't bring them score, but we get a replacement tile. A oh, one dot, that's nice. So we have seven dots, five cracks. Pair, pair, potential chow. These could both be pungs. Let's give up on these cracks and go with dots. They have a ways to go. Let's throw the six crack. The seven crack will be good too. That, and those have been thrown, so nobody can take that six crack, so we'll draw. Okay, six bam. That's a good tile for them. They could pung that. Let's throw the eight crack and then draw here. Nobody can take the eight crack. Seven dot, discard. We're gonna pung. So we'll show it like that. Pung, six crack. That's been discarded a couple times now. So we need to pung these. Six crack, we're, we're in dots, so we don't wanna be distracted by that six crack. We need dots. Or a dragon will do, if we can pair that up. Let's throw the seven crack. We can draw for south. White dragon, maybe we can pair those up. Let's get rid of this one crack. They came a long way up here. Nobody can take the one crack, so we'll draw. Two crack, oh yeah, that was a good tile. One, two, three. Or one, two, three, four, seven, eight. One, two, three blocks. Let's get rid of the one dot, see what happens. One dot, pong, right here. Okay, five crack. Nobody can take the five crack, so we'll draw for player two. Now we did just get through the second wall, so we're actually into the middle game now. Hopefully everybody knows where they're gonna get their three fawn. Here, we're playing a half flush with dots and honors. Here we're playing a half flush with bams. Both of these have single honors, so that's going to be a challenge. Here we're playing a half flush with cracks, single honors again. Here we're playing a half flush with dots, and we've got pairs of honors. These are blocking this. These are blocking these. This will be interesting. Two bam! Oh my goodness, they really came a long way. We'll discard that one crack. And up here, we could chow, but that would leave an isolated one. I've been told, don't break a chow to make a chow, especially if you leave an isolated tile. And we have a chow here two ways, two, three, four, 
one, two, three. Either way, if we took that one, we would leave an isolated two or one and an isolated four. We're better off to draw three dot. We got a discard. All right, up here. Four dot, paired up. That's nice. Let's throw the three crack. Nobody can take it. We're in dots down here. Let's draw. East. Oh, single honor. That's not going to be helpful. Let's see. Three crack. Let's throw the three crack. And we can draw here. White. They paired up. That's perfect. Now we can maybe get rid of this west. And up here, we're going to pung. Pung. Let's we'll see, that's north. Okay, north punged. So they can pung here, here, and here, and maybe be left with a pair to make. We're going to discard the four crack. So four crack. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw. Nine dot, that's a keeper, pair. Let's discard the two crack. Drawing four south, two crack. Two crack up here now. So we have a one, two, potential three, two, three, four. So with that two crack, that would be a good one to take because we're left with a potential cheat chow here with a three crack, but we want to look at how many three cracks are out. There's only four of everything. There's one three crack here and two three cracks are in an exposure. Uh, two three cracks have been discarded. The chances of this player getting that three crack are pretty slim. I think they're better off to draw and leave that intact because there's only one more three crack left. Red dragon. If they can pair that up, that will have been worth it. Let's discard the seven bam. Nobody wants it. We're gonna draw for north. Five crack. Down here, drawing for east. Eight crack. Drawing for south, north. Okay, now we want to keep these bams. We can maybe pung that, pung that. They have two sets out. So let's go ahead and discard the north. Nobody can take the north, so we'll draw. Three dot. That's been discarded already. Drawing for north. Six dot. Okay, so here we have a potential pung, potential pung, potential pung, and then here we could even have a potential chow, maybe. I'd rather pung, though. There are no six dots out, and there are no nine dots out. Let's go ahead and discard the nine dot. We do have chow potential there. Down here, we can pung. Pung. We have an isolated tile, potential pung, or potential chow. Isolated all of these. There's a west out in a pung. Let's throw that west and draw here. Nine crack. Here we can chow. Chow. discard this offsuit tile, nine bam. Drawing for north, nine bam. Drawing for east, one bam. Drawing for south, five dot, five dot. Down here, we're gonna pung.
Okay, we have all these single tiles. This is not a real good position to be in. They've got a lot of work to do. It sure looks good on the outside. All right, now we just have to decide. Let's discard the east because more likely than not, east would want to keep east. Everyone's going to want to keep their own seat. So let's just take the chance of discarding east hoping that nobody wants it, but up here we actually have it. So we're going to Pung. Pung. And now we're going to discard the six dot. And we're ready to win on a four dot or a south. And it's this player's turn. Three bam. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Red dragon. They paired up. Let's discard the green dragon. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Nine dot. So one green dragon is out. Let's throw the nine bam and draw up here. Eight dot. Discard. Down here. Drawing. North. There's one out. We can discard that. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Nine bam, that's a keeper. Maybe. Two bam, there's one out, two, two out, nine bam, all, are, all of them are out now. So that's a good discard. Nine bam. Drawing four west. Four crack. Okay, that was a good tile. Here's a chow, one, two, three. Pair of fours, singles. Let's see, the north and the east would be good discards. There's a pung of east out, so that's a good safe tile. The north, nobody wanted. There are two out, so that's a good discard too. Or there's, Yeah, there's two out. So we're going to draw four north. Three crack. And now we're going to draw for east. Four bam. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. One dot. Drawing four west. Oh, they got a south. Let's get rid of this nine dot. And draw four north. Six dot. They're ready on a double weight. I was thinking. If we kept that, we would be waiting on a five dot. So it's better to stay with two potential winning tiles. So let's throw the six dot and draw four east. Four bam. Drawing for west or south. Eight dot. That was just discarded. Drawing for west. Two dot. Everyone's drawing the wrong suit. Drawing for north. Oh, they just got their own flower. Four flower. Five bam. And we can draw four east. Five crack. Drawing for south. Five crack. Now up here, we could make a three, four, five, but that would leave an isolated four. We're better off to wait for a pung potential there. So I would rather draw. In this case, it paid off because now we have a pair of green dragons. There's only one out. Let's throw the north. Nobody wanted that. And draw four north. However, we are now in the end game. We just got through the third wall. Eight bam. Drawing for east. Nine crack. South. Six bam. Oh, they have a pung there. Let's discard this two bam. And they are ready on a red dragon or a white dragon. 
So we're going to draw now four west, three dot, drawing for north, red dragon, we're going to discard for north, red dragon, they're ready on a double weight, that would be mahjong right here, there's the pair, there's the winning tile right there, there's a pung. Chow, another chow, and a one flower. This flower, no value. So they have a half flesh with a dragon pung. So that's three because they are mixing chows with pungs. That's just considered a half flesh. And then of course the dragon pung is worth a fawn. So we have a four fawn hand here. So for a four fawn hand, that's going to be 16 points. So this player threw it. So east and west would pay 16 points. North would pay 32 points for a total of 64 points. Whenever you play Hong Kong Mahjong, always ask what the fawn minimum is for the group that you play with. Some groups play with a one fawn minimum, in which case all chow is just fine because that's one fawn. But a lot of groups play with a three fawn minimum, and that's why half flesh is one of the go-to hands. Half flesh or all pung, or a combination of those, half flesh and all pung. In this case, south one with a half flesh and a dragon pung. So that was four fawn since they mixed chows with a pung. That'll bring your score down a little bit. Anytime you have chows, you're going to bring your score down just a little. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.